Our semi-nomadic family has been eating our way around the world for the past 20 months, and our 33rd stop is stateside, here in the famous Hamptons of Long Island, New York. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our upcoming Montauk episode. But today, we're going to show you what it's like to stay in this brand new four-level townhouse in the Hampton Bays, and where to go if you want to eat and drink like the locals. And if you'd like to vacation here yourself, we're going to tell you how to make it happen. It's a lot more affordable than you think. Let's start devouring. This is Main Street in Southampton, and we are going to St. Ambrose. It opened in 1992. It's since been remodeled, and it is a big local and tourist favorite. This is a great stop whether you want to grab a coffee, pastry, or sandwich to go from the cafe in the front, spend a happy hour at the Central Bar, or have a great sit-down meal in the bright and cozy back dining room, like we're doing this morning. Can I get a macchiato, please? Macchiato? Yes. I have got to have coffee in the morning. This is my first sip. Perfect. I've really been falling behind on my Italian lessons, but it turns out this place actually has an Italian spin to it. And anytime you go to a restaurant that's Italian for breakfast, you gotta get a Prosecco. Breakfast of Italian champions. And the name of the restaurant is the Patron Saint of Milan. Is that what you said? Yeah. I didn't know they had saints for cities, but cool. I got the avocado toast and it's on sunflower seed bread and you can see there's tons of sunflower seeds all over the outside and cooked on the inside. It looks delicious. It's got two poached eggs on top too. And I had to get one of these red pepperoncinos. Mm. It's all organic, locally sourced. So this yogurt parfait is very, very intriguing to me because they said it's grass-fed yogurt. What is that? They feed the yogurt grass. Also, house-made granola, strawberries, and blueberries. That tastes so good. You can taste the grass. No, you can't. Get it. You can. Now that I'm eating it, am I a grass-fed dad? No, you're not. <laughs> you should put some honey on it. It always makes it better. I assumed that was like some Italian thing for your pancakes, but that's probably what this was for in the first place, huh? All right, now for the fun part. With this being the Hamptons, you have to expect that it's going to be a little pricey, and it is. By the way. This came on top of our check. Turns out they have multiple locations. New York, Southampton, Palm Beach, and Milan. Cool. Here's the damage today. First of all, the macchiato, six and a half bucks. The orange juice, actually this is grapefruit juice for Colt, 10 bucks. They each got pancakes, and those were 18 bucks per kid. The avocado toast, $21. My yogurt parfait, 14. Reagan's eggs, 22 bucks. My Prosecco was actually priced pretty well, $18, about the same as pancakes. Anyway, for a grand total of 145 bucks before tip. But honestly, it was delicious, and the place is fantastic. It's worth every penny. Well, now we're gonna walk around Southampton. Oh, yeah. Let's go, guys. If you thought breakfast was expensive, you don't wanna look at the real estate here. 35 million. Lunch is at another local favorite. It's Cowfish. It's right at the tip of Chinook, Shinnecock. Shinnecock Bay, right into the Shinnecock Canal. They're open year round. They have live music on Fridays and Sundays. You can rent the whole building for events, but they also have really good locally sourced seafood and other classic Americana dishes. Well, I am kicking things off right with a little cocktail. This is a Blue Lake Sally. Gin, cucumber vodka, lime, grapefruit juice, and a little simple syrup. Oh, that's refreshing. Perfect cocktail to be having out here on this awesome patio. This is a beautiful day on the bay. I got their lunch special. It's mussels in a sriracha mango sauce. Oh, I wanna get this one that's drenched in the sauce. All about the sauce with the mussel. Yeah, this sauce is great, but the mussel, it's its the mussel too. That doesn't have any like sea taste to it at all. It is just mussel and flavor. And it's really, really, really good. And I imagine crazy fresh. And I got the Nola shrimp, which doesn't sound very local, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste very local. This is in a Worcestershire reduction with some jasmine rice. That is the spot. Mm. You can tell why it's called Nola, because it's got those Creole spices on it. It's nothing crazy spicy though, it's just great flavor. It really makes it feel great and perfect to be out here on the water while you're eating it. So good. I'm in love with these mussels. I like a good mussel. I might regret eating all this garlic like this. I don't know why. Not yet. You've got to get all this sauce with the bread, because it's like when the mussels are gone, 
Maybe. There's still an amazing meal left. All right, it's that time of the meal. Actually, we came out a lot lower on lunch than we did on breakfast today. The kids' meals were only like 12 bucks each. My cocktail was 15 bucks. That was only one buck less than Aaron's mussels. And then coming in at a whopping $27 was my Nola shrimp. But for a grand total of 93 bucks, not bad for 10. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're actually gonna walk back to our townhouse and give you a full tour. Our place is actually right around the corner. You can probably see it right over there. It's only about a 10 minute walk. We're staying in Hampton Bays at the boathouses at Canoe Place. Our unit is called Seaport. Come check it out. These units are brand new and they smell super new. So there's a powder room right over here and a coat closet over there. But look at this nice and bright room. It is super bright because we have a corner unit, so tons and tons of windows. So right in front of us is the pool, and over here is the canal. So every now and then you see some boats coming past. It's fun. And this kitchen is really pretty. The, what is this, granite or? Yeah, it's granite. Granite, it's got the leather finish, which is really pretty in person. And the appliances, all brand new, all sub-zero, and I love that it has of course, empty, but sub-zero drawers. All the major appliances, microwave, uh, dishwasher, Wolf range. Nobody's touched it, not even me especially. Don't forget the vodka. I would not forget the vodka. <laughs> so like our other states with Inspirato, they stock our home with our groceries that we submit ahead of time. Super convenient. And I can't forget to show you the s'mores. The s'mores. There's a fire pit on property, so I think maybe tonight we're gonna be hitting the s'mores. All right, let's go downstairs to the living room. And it's nice to have a fireplace when it's a little bit chilly, and honestly, it's June already, but it's still kind of chilly. This couch is the comfiest couch ever. I wonder if... It's the, it, I think it's the cloud. Is it the cloud? It looks like the cloud. It feels like the cloud. From Restoration Hardware. Yeah, if you're not familiar, the cloud couch from Restoration Hardware. You wanna see how it works? It works just like this. <laughs> okay, now let's go upstairs. Sono speaker, big TV. All the rooms are pretty big. Phil and I chose this one for our master. And it's got a beautiful little balcony out there, king size bed. I really chose this room because of the closet. It's the biggest closet in the house, so it's really nice to spread your stuff out, hang up your dresses. And the bathroom is really nice in here too. I really love the tiles on the floor. Oh, yeah, the tile floor. They're heated. Nice and cozy and toasty on your toes. There's one more room on this level. It's the kids' room. Hey guys, what are you doing? I'm definitely doing school. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, obviously. You can tell she's going to MIT. Full ensuite bathroom here and closet space here. And of course I always want to point out the washer and dryer, brand new. And this I think is kind of funny, there's another balcony over here that's kind of around the corner. And there's another level, so let's go upstairs. So this is where Reagan's staying and it could be a master. Double balconies. And this looks every bit the part of a teenage girl's bedroom, but we're very grateful to have Reagan with us on this trip because it's the first time she's traveled with us since last summer. There are just two linear closets here, so no walk-in, but the bathroom's really nice. It also has heated floors. Let me show you some of the other building amenities. We might as well tell you that we aren't paying for this place by the night. The entire stay is included in our Inspirado membership, just like 90% of the incredible homes and resorts that we visit around the globe. Oh. Can eat al fresco. Super sunny. The pool is open pretty much dusk till dawn. But here's the fire pit I was telling you about. And if you get a fishing pole and fishing gear, you could catch something there and grill it here or over there. Everything is brand speaking new because they just opened yesterday. So we got to be one of the first reservations. This is just another place for members to gather. And if you want to learn more about how we travel with Inspirato, you can visit followabc.com slash pass. Now, let me show you where we work out. This is where we hit the gym. Yeah, so we got Pelotons back there. Yes. What did you do this morning? Uh, I did the elliptical. We don't have one at home, so I take advantage when we're on trips. I used the free weights over here. I did chest this morning. Of course you did. So these are our awesome digs, but it is time for us to get ready for dinner. We're going someplace real nice. 
We're in the middle of the Hamptons in Bridgehampton and we're going to the Topping Rose House. It's a luxury hotel and a historical building and also where we're gonna have dinner at John George's. It's a farm to table restaurant. They get all their food from their one acre farm they have here on the property and they get their fish from their local fishermen. Cheers, baby. Cheers, my love. It's a martini, all right. While Phil and I are sipping on our martinis, him much more than I am, in three days we choose our next trip and we don't know where we're gonna go because after this we're heading back to Denver, then we're going to Newport and hitting a ton of restaurants in Orange County, then we have to figure out where to go next. So if you have any recommendations for places we need to visit, put them in the comments. Our server raved about this crispy salmon sushi and it looks like it's got a crunchy little potato. It's rice. It's rice, of course it's rice. It's a crunchy little rice square and then salmon over the top. Are you gonna have one, bud? I am. Go for it. Mm. Oh, that is amazing. I gotta try one then. Yep. I expected it to be warm, because it's crispy. I expected it to be just fried, but it's cold, which is perfect for the sashimi on top. Really good salmon. I wonder which fisherman they bought it from today. Since they're only four bites, honey, I'm giving you mine because I know you like salmon. It's like salmon pate. It doesn't taste smoked. <laughs> it doesn't taste smoked. <laughs> she loves smoked salmon and apparently doesn't love non-smoked salmon. That's crunchy as hell. Harry's berries. I'm saying that because there's some of them right under this burrata here, which was complimentary from our server. Super, super sweet. Let's dig in and give it a try. When I think of burrata, I remember this amazing dish we had at Bobby Flay's Amalfi in Las Vegas. And if you want to see that episode, click up here. Click up here. You're not even trying anymore. I am. I just never remember which side I'm on. <laughs> Okay, let's see how this holds up. That is the milkiest burrata I think I've ever had. It is so milky and creamy. I got the sweet pea soup with Parmesan foam. And then this is some kind of a crouton, I don't think it's set, but ready for me to mix it? Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it's so good. It tastes like it's right from the farm. I mean, it is so perfect, like our server said, for a day like this, because it's a little chilly today, and this is absolutely perfect. And the Parmesan foam, so yummy. If you like peas, it's like eating a pea right out of the pot. I'm excited to try Reagan's rigatoni. Sauce makes it, it's a smoked chili tomato ragu. This is the beef tenderloin, and it's in a sriracha emulsion which sounds heavenly. Isn't sriracha what your um, muscles were in today, babe? And mango. Mm. Oh, man. Way more sriracha in this than in the muscles for lunch today, but this is a fantastic piece of steak. And that sriracha sauce, oh yeah, it's got some real kick, I love it. Yeah, this is perfection. Colt definitely hit it out of the park by ordering himself a black truffle and Fontina cheese pizza. Oh, that is so truffly. <laughs> oh, that is so good. That's the best pizza I've ever tried in my whole life. Like, I think we've done pretty well. We cleaned up, definitely soaked up as much as I could with this pea soup. Kids did pretty well with the pizza, cleaned up the steak, pasta's pretty much gone. Phil just has to work on his martini. Don't mind if I do. And that'll give these kids a chance to sample a few of the incredible desserts, including the ones we ordered and the extra one our server comped us. Kids are fighting over the chocolate cake I've got like, two like bites. wild animals. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are two other desserts on the table that we can't wait to dig into. This is a salted caramel sundae, and it reminds us of a Cracker Jack sundae that we had in New York City. You want to see that? Go over here. So I'm gonna dig in to this one because <laughs> oh, sorry. digging into the strawberry glace. Strawberry coupe glace. Strawberry coupe glace. It's delicious. That's the most strawberry y strawberry sorbet I've ever had in my life. Kids are cleaning up. All right, here we go. I'm not gonna line item this one for you because let's be honest, we know this is not gonna be pretty. <laughs> Not too bad. It's not even 200% what we paid for breakfast. The entire thing, 266 bucks. 
before tea. Which is very pleasantly surprising, but remember the burrata, our server was kind enough to bring that for us, and also one of the three desserts that we devoured. You might have noticed that so far we haven't gone to any restaurants in Montauk, and that's because we're doing our own separate episode all about Montauk, one perfect day there. So follow us and subscribe so you can see that as well. But we are here in Sag Harbor, and we're gonna go to the Montauk Lobster House. It's their second location, and it's gonna be some good seafood, and I feel like we're guaranteed some lobster. I have a smooth sailing 75, which is basically a take on a French 75, uh, which is gin, elderflower, lemon, uh, and this one has pineapple. Some French 75s have prosecco. There's also a prosecco in this. I don't know the ingredients, I just know they taste good. Oh my god, it's really good. One, I love pineapple cocktails, and two, I love cocktails that are topped with some Prosecco. It gives it like a little bubbly and frothy feeling. It's super airy and light and delicious. Now I got a stormy pomegranate mule. So it is Tito's vodka, of course, and then pomegranate liqueur, lime, and ginger beer. Sorry it's so loud, by the way. There's a table of eight girls over here having an awesome party, and all eight of them are talking at the same time. I don't know who's supposed to be listening. Oh, that's good. Ginger beer forward. The pomegranate is actually pretty subtle, which I'm happy about because that could make it too sweet. That's a good cocktail. This is the Montauk lobster roll. It is their classic lobster roll, and it looks perfect. So it has a little bit of mayo, some celery, and other you know seasonings, and it's served cold. And I'm gonna dig in. I don't even know how. I'm gonna cut it in half and then dig in in the middle. There we go. Now I know my first bite is gonna have a ton of lobster in it. Mm. That is delicious. The lobster is perfect. I love that there's not too much mayonnaise, which is key for a lobster roll. And the crunch with the celery and the little bit of romaine in there, perfect. But if you want to see my favorite lobster roll I have ever had in my life, check out this episode. They're so terrible at this. All right, they tell me that mine is served hot, but I don't know. Let's see. It's warm. It's warm. Oh, that's so good. Mine has no celery, apparently no mayonnaise. It's just the lobster with melted butter. I wonder if, and by the way, the one you were talking about, babe, is that Coronado Lobster West? Yeah? Yeah. All right. I bet this one's a lot like that. Let's see. Mmm. Wow, that's buttery. Really good. Look at that. Let's see how the lobster's all broken up in this one. It's almost shredded. Whereas at Lobster West, it was just the big chunks. I don't know which I prefer. This one's a little bit easier to eat, I think. You want to bite? Mm -hmm. I just want to look at it. I know exactly what you mean. You're like a little bunny eating that. Like that's your carrot and then you eat the bunny. <laughs> Looks like we pretty much devoured everything. All right, first order of business. Well, you have to stare at Figure out what we're paying here. Okay, a little bit more than I would have guessed since uh, we just got the two lobster rolls. Each one of those being 37 bucks, which is not too bad compared to cowfish which would have been 48 bucks, and actually Jean George last night was going to be in the 80s. But between that and some cocktails and everything else that we have, 172 bucks before tip. In more ways than one, cocktails get you every time. Sag Harbor has an adorable main street, so we're gonna go check it out a bit. The tiny village of Sag Harbor lies partly in Southampton and partly in East Hampton, and it has a long history dating back to its days as a whaling port in the 1700s and 1800s. Be sure to swing by the American Hotel for a seat on the back patio and one of the coldest martinis in town. For dinner, I was really drawn to this place's name. It's called Jerry and the Mermaid. It is a casual, local seafood place, and yet we had a hard time getting a reservation. We're eating at five, so it's gotta be popular, local favorite. All right, we're getting started with a couple of local favorites and a special. We got the clams, and they look pretty raw and fresh right from out of the water. And Colt got pretty excited when he heard frog legs. So we had to get them for him. Whoa, that's good. Brooklyn, you want a frog leg? No, no, why would you ever ask me? What do you think about your frog leg fan? Yeah, it's good. What does it taste like? Chicken? Yeah, it, it's good. It gives, it's just like a drumstick, except more frog leg. 
There's a baby that's struggling back there, so it happens. People have babies. Yeah, I think these are raw. I'm not sure that I've ever had a raw clam before, honestly. Check this out. This is the bigger one, so we're gonna give that a try. Way more flavorful than a, an oyster, but I gotta say, I think I prefer this. Instead of like being slimy and soft, it actually has some real body to it. It's a little chewy, like octopus, which I love. Yeah, of course, man. Salty. Salty. So you like it then? I'm so proud of you, Brooklyn. So am I. Give me a kiss. I'm proud of you. I don't think I want to do that. I feel like I'm more worried about this. Do you like it? What? Did she like it? I need to spit it out. You need to spit it out. You know what? Still, good job trying it, sweetheart. It tastes the same as an oyster, except it's a little bit more firm. Mmm. Totally right. So much meatier than an oyster. Like not slimy at all. It's like meaty. Next up for me is this little combination crispy boat. So we have shrimp, scallops, cod. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe some clams. I don't know. Oh wow. I think that was a scallop. Even after biting that, it's just a dripping liquid. Hang on. Try again. Ooh. That is hot. Oh man. That's hot, but it's really good too. All the seafood flavor and then that crispy coating on there. Piping hot. So good. And I got a seafood classic, the New England clam chowder, and it has smoked bacon. The difference between New England and Manhattan clam chowder, Manhattan is like a red thin broth, and clam chowder is like a thick creamy white sauce. This is good. I love how everything is minced up so small. It's yummy. Good classic dish here. Well, I think we pretty much had enough food for the whole day. We're done here. There's only one thing left to do. I think we're gonna do pretty well today. Come on, let's not be silly. Frog legs for 15 bucks, the clams are 18 bucks, my fried combo 22 bucks, everything else was relatively cheap. So a grand total of 121 before tip. So for dessert, we are back at our residence and we're using their fire pit and the s'mores pit that they left for us. We're having s'mores. Brooklyn, you like yours golden, right? Yes, I do. I like mine pretty burnt. And I'm not a big fan of milk chocolate, so I'm using these dark chocolate almonds. We're gonna see how that turns out. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my! Oh my! That's pretty good. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. 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 Oh, our last stop on this trip is Sundays on the Bay, and it's only a coincidence that it's Sunday today because they are open all year round, every day. Classic lobster roll, 32 bucks. That's the cheapest on this trip, right? I can sit here all afternoon. These views are spectacular. And there's a place right across the parking lot. It's called Oakland's Restaurant Marina. They even have this bar up above overlooking. That would be a great place to just hang out and do cocktails all afternoon. This is the sea spray. Yes, it is the sea spray. Which is gin, cucumber vodka, and a sea mist spray. We don't even know what that is. And then fresh cucumber. And it's really refreshing and really strong. Really, really strong. So Sundays on the Bay is super casual, but really trendy. And it's most well known for the views because we are on the northernmost part of a little strip island that's off the shore of Hampton Bay. So you got almost 360 views. They're really well known for their baked clams. That's what we had to get. And these are huge. Big old baked clams. Oh wow. Yeah, this is really breaded. It's like a crab cake baked into the clam. Of course with clam instead of crab. There's bacon in there. Oh yeah. That is really good. That's not like a crab cake texture at all. It's kind of like a mushy texture inside. Like a stuffing, bread stuffing, like a turkey stuffing. But the bacon is awesome. And I love getting that clam texture in it too. See, there's a big piece of clam. Definitely big enough for four people, so everyone gets one each. I got something real special for lunch. This is called a lobster dog. It's like a sausage bratwurst with lobster. Look at this thing. We tried making something like this at our house once because I have a sausage maker. It didn't turn out well, but this one looks phenomenal. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. 
it actually tastes like a sausage. You get like the char because you can tell it's nice and charred on the outside. And then it's basically a pico de gallo on top. It used to have a lobster roll bun, which makes it super good. I'm into it. I'm into it. Disco. Yes, I'm very curious. I'm digging it too. That's totally unique. So many juicy flavors. I got the togarashi dusted tuna, which in togarashi is a seasoning. And it's on top of some seaweed and has some microgreens on top. And the tuna is seared. Mmm. I like that seasoning. What is that flavor? It's like a peanut soy sauce, maybe. It's really good. The tuna's great. Okay. Last meal of the trip, not too bad. 110 bucks for the four of us. Luckily, we saved some money because Reagan's out with a friend. I'd say that this is a pretty successful week in the Hamptons. We learned a lot about the different areas and we had some really good fresh seafood. So I hope you follow us along to our other destinations. We're going to California next and then Fort Lauderdale after that. And then who knows where we're gonna go. So follow us on Instagram and subscribe to this channel. We would really appreciate that if you come along on all our other adventures. Chocolate pink. Ready? Oh.